your friends are ignoring you, listen to it. Look at it. Analyze that thing. Stand back from it and say, wow, this is what's really going on. And if you want to test it, pick the phone up. Make the phone call to them. What happens when they pick up? What's the attitude when he or she picks up? You on the other end, you know who you should be in this person's life. What's the attitude of the person on the other end now? Do they find an excuse to get off the phone all the time? Okay, feel that. Listen to that. Hang up. Don't get angry. You're not doing this here experiment to get angry, to make you angry. You're doing it to help you. And if you see that that's going on and you're saying, wow, this person really trying to ignore me? Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, wait for a couple of days. Try it again. Listen to what the world is telling you. Listen to what the Lord is telling you. Listen to what you're feeling and your heart is telling to you. Listen to your heart. Your heart does not lie. Listen to your heart. Listen to the pit of your gut. Listen to it. Believe it. Your heart might be on the left side, but your heart is always right. Hear me closely. Your heart may be on the left side of your body, but what you feel sometimes is always right. It's always right. Don't ever question that. It's always right. Sometimes people say it's a gut feeling, but it's in the heart. And it's always right, people. So, you have chopped it all up to being ignored now. You feel being the person ignoring you. Okay, if you feel that, that person that you feel is ignoring you should never, ever, as long as he or she lives, have to worry about you bothering them again. Hear what I'm saying to you. If people have begun to ignore you and you feel like they're ignoring you and it causing you to feel a certain way, people. Inboxers, emails that I get. We are human. We experience things. Train somebody else. Teach somebody else how to get to the level that you are in your life. If you are ignored, why would you fight? Why would you scream? Why would you fight for love in this world? Fighting for love when love is something that you don't have to fight for. Ladies and gents, that feeling of love is something you should never fight for or cry for or beg for or run after. Love finds you. You should never in a relationship, in a marriage, cry for love, fight for love, beg for love, run out looking for it all the time. Love finds you and it's in the heart and you feel it. That's the type of people you surround yourself with. That's the type of people you surround yourself with. If you in a relationship, uh, of a marriage or you engaged or you getting ready to get married people but you always have to be the one to be on the phone calling somebody you're always the one calling this person always calling him always calling her always and they never call you hang the phone up Think about what is happening to you. Feel that emotion that's rising up. Don't deny the emotions that you feel in your life. Feel them for everything that God is putting in that emotion. Feel it. That's why God has given it to you. It's going to let you know something. If you listen to what's going on and pay attention to what's going on in your life, it will let you know something about it. It will let you know if you're wasting your time with a person. It will let you know if it's worth fighting for or is it worth you just going on doing your own things in life. It will let you know a lot of things. And if it's that way, that's what you have to do. 
You have to free your mind up. You have to free your mind up. And when you free your mind up, the world, the God is going to allow people to start moving in. When you lose somebody, when somebody leaves your life, when you go through a divorce, separation, when things get kind of bumpy in your life, they're getting bumpy for a reason, people. Don't ever question yourself about why it's getting bumpy. Why the road of love getting bumpy now? It's got bumpy because of something happening. You may not know what happened. A lot of times you don't know what happened. But believe me, the heart tells you something happened. Your spirit tells you something has happened and things has changed. Don't question that. Don't not believe it. Look at what has happened. Hear it. Feel it. Pay attention. Listen. Listen closely. Don't say anything. Sometimes it's not worth saying anything. It's worth you understanding. It's put there. The laws of the universe put things around us so we can know things. God allowed things to happen in our lives. And you see it. And if a person walk away from you, they walk out of your life. They hurt you. Believe this. It's opening up a way for the right person to come into your life. Be patient. Be patient. Give it some time. Keep on loving yourself. Keep on making yourself smile. Keep on being happy. That energy, the energy that you exert, the energy that you give off, people feel that energy. You don't have to say anything. We all energy. We're nothing but energy, people. You don't have to say anything. You walk into a room, your energy is felt. You change the whole momentum of your environment because of your energy. If you walk in a room and you love yourself and you're happy, it's going to show on your face. That energy is going to pull somebody towards you. But if you go into a room and you worried about why somebody's not talking to you like they used to talk to you anymore, how come they're not calling you anymore? Maybe they even starting to not respect you anymore. And you're wondering why, why, why? Stop worrying yourself about the why. Do what you know that you're doing. Know that you're doing what you're supposed to do and know that you're doing right and you done treated this person right. Long as you know these things, stop worrying yourself about anything else and start training your brain. Start training your brain to distance yourself from that situation. You got to train your brain to distance yourself from that person sometime and start doing things on your own by yourself, you can't not let them stop you from doing. And when you start doing it on your own, God will send people. Uh, the laws of nature will send events and things into your life that's going to better you. You'll be going places, doing things. Don't ever think that because you're doing things by yourself is something wrong with you. There's something wrong with your life when you're doing things alone. Man, sometimes the being alone is the best place to be when you're not all smothered by that person that loving you. It's all right to be smothered sometimes, but sometimes you need to breathe. Sometimes you need to get away from them. And you get away from them, and you have some me time, and you look at your life. Analyze your life for a change. Because things have changed in your life. And maybe you don't realize it or you don't see it because you've been too noisy. And you haven't listened to what has really happened in your life. Or maybe death and dying and sadness and depression and anxiety, uh, panic attacks have taken the majority of your happiness away from you. But once you realize that, it's time for you to attack that situation head on. It's time for you to go head on with that situation. If your phone doesn't ring anymore, understand that it just stopped ringing. Don't try to analyze why it doesn't ring anymore. 
Don't try to analyze why they don't say what they say to you anymore. Don't try to analyze any of it. It's a reason for it. Know this. Only thing you need to know is that there's a reason for all things. Nothing happened by chance. If you see that God done allowed people to come into your life that makes you happy, and make you laugh, accept that. Accept it for what it is. You may not even know. The only thing you know is that you're happier now. Accept that good. Accept that good part of it in your life. Let it come on in. Like I said, let it come on in, baby. Let it come on in towards you. Enjoy that. Long as you don't violate the laws that God has laid out for you to go by. Whether you're married, whether you're dating, or whether you're uh, waiting to be married. Let that force come in that caused you to smile, cause you to feel joy and happiness. Sometimes it may not be from the person you think it's going to be from either. Who said it's supposed to be from that person? Sometimes it comes from another person, another event. Sometimes it'll come from being out fishing. Sometimes it'll come from being out walking. Sometimes it'll come and you're just happy with yourself. If you're unhappy with yourself, there's a problem in you. You got to go and attack that problem. It's something making you unhappy now. And you need to remove it. Or you need to detach from it. You need to uproot it out of your life so you can be happy again. Something has stolen your joy from you. And you got to get it back. You got to get it back. You have got to get your joy and your laughter back and your happiness back by all means necessary. That means if you have to detach from a person or detach from people, you, the, you have the phone stop ringing. You know, they don't answer your calls like they used to answer the phone when you call. Well, you know what? Maybe they're just busy in life. Maybe they're suffering from bipolar or something. Maybe something is overtaking them. Maybe they're suffering from depression now. Maybe you can help them. But when you try to help them and you can't help a person no longer, inboxer. And where am I forever advancing yourself, people? You all know how we do this thing. We take it from level to level to level to level. You got to take it to another level now. Maybe you're uncomfortable about it. Maybe you think you're doing something wrong, but you're not. It's just your energy. You feeling your energy and you want to continue to give off positive vibrations. You want to continue to give off positive vibes. You want to be happy. You want to be happy in life. And you're looking at one person a lot of times. And you got your whole life wrapped up around one person. You got to detach from that person. Y'all may think, oh, she's telling me something wrong. No, I'm not. I'm not telling you anything wrong. If it's a relationship and that relationship is robbing you of your joy and your happiness now, you have to detach yourself from that person. It's not, sometimes it don't mean leaving that person, but it means that you got to stop wrapping your mind around this person so much. And as so as you detach from that person, God will allow that person to either come back around to him or herself and start being the way they should be. Our God will allow you to start meeting different people and going different places in your life where you're still a happy man if you ever let happiness run from you. If you ever lose happiness in your spirit and joy in your life, you are losing out on life. That's all I'm telling you. If you let a person take it from you, if you let your wife take your happiness from you, husbands, you you missing out on life. Uh, wives, if you let your husband rob you of joy and happiness because of they're changing on you or they're going through a bumpy road in their life or maybe they have even done things that you don't know about that have messed their own lives up and they want to mess your life up now. If you feeling this here, you got to detach yourself from that person. Because if you don't, you will walk around unhappy. You won't have no joy in your spirit anymore. You have got to detach it so God can allow something else to come in until this person come to grips with what's going on with him or her. But for you to chase happiness, and for you to chase love, people, you are robbing yourself. You're robbing yourself of life. Love is something that you don't have to chase. Love chase you. Don't you ever forget it. 
Love chase you. Love is not what you say, people. Love is not what you say. You can say good things to a person all day long. Love is what you do. And don't you ever, ever forget it. Love is the things that you do. If you're in a relationship and there is nothing ever being done anymore, where you and that person are attached together and you're doing things together, you're out together, and you love being in that moment with this person still. You love being with them still. If you find yourself not loving to being with your spouse anymore, or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your boo thing, and you find yourself not wanting to be with them and there's no joy there anymore, it's time for you to detach yourself from that relationship. I don't care how cold-hearted it may sound, but to save your life and to save your happiness, sometimes you got to detach from that person. Sometimes you got to detach from them. You're supposed to be happy in life. You're supposed to be happy in life. Sometimes things come up, you're not going to be happy 24-7. Don't get it twisted. But what I'm saying, if the majority of your days is laid down and weighed down in unhappiness and frowning and arguing and fussing and cussing and blaming that person and blaming this person, you're not happy anymore with your life. And only you can come to grips with the fact that you're not happy anymore. Are you not happy in that situation anymore? Are you not happy on that job anymore? You're not happy in that relationship anymore. The only thing you know is that you're not happy anymore. And you have to start doing something about it. You're going to have to start doing something about it. If you're waiting on that woman to do something about it, you lost man already. If you're waiting on that man to do something about you being unhappy ladies, you done lost already. You already lost. You already lost. Start detaching yourself from her. Start cutting them off a little bit by a little bit. Cut them off. I don't care who they are. I don't care what their titles are. If they have started to make you feel like trash and shit and junk, they don't have no time for you. They don't want to be around you. They don't have time. They don't, they don't sacrifice for you anymore. They don't try to come anywhere and do anything with you anymore. And you find yourself begging them to do this, begging them to do that. And then they want to get angry and they don't want to do it. Stand back and get silent for a season and watch that person. Listen to them. Watch them now. I'm going to teach you something that's going to save your life. Watch that person regardless of how painful it is to watch them and how they're behaving now. Watch them. And ask God to give you the strength to move forward. And be blessed, people.